Was it possible to have joy despite pain? You know, I, I, I know it wondered. is, Kevin, and I, I do not here speak from experience. I'm not saying, oh, I have had joy in the midst of pain, but there are plenty of uh, wonderful saints who have. I, I think, for example, of the story of Mabel that Tom Schmidt uh, relates uh, and that I share in some of my talks on the problem of evil and suffering. A woman who was blind, almost totally deaf, uh, left alone and strapped into a wheelchair in a nursing home with no one to talk to. Uh, and Tom began to visit this woman and found that she was a radiant Christian, full of joy. And he went in one day when he was so busy, he scarcely had time to think, and he asked himself, what does Mabel think about lying here all day long, unable to talk to anyone, unable to see. And he, he went and asked her, he says, Mabel, what do you think about all day long as you lie here? And she said, I think about my Jesus. And Tom said, I, I thought how difficult it is for me to think about Jesus for any, just even five minutes. And, and I said to her, well, what do you think about Jesus? And she said, I think how good he's been to me. I've had a pretty good life, you know. And then she began to sing a hymn about how Jesus is my life, my joy, my all. And it, it was the most inspiring example of someone with tremendous profound joy in the midst of pain. And Tom reflected that here was a woman who in the midst of her suffering, unable to speak, unable to move, unable to talk to anyone, had incredible power. Um, and so I know it's possible.